Hey folks, BC7 here, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013 and the Alpental map. And there goes the train, right on schedule. Very nice. Hmm. No idea where it comes out, because that looks like it's uh, pretty much mountains from there until forever. Anyway, I have seeded this field up in barley now that we've cleaned it all up. I have stacked some bales up by the other farm. I got that load of logs delivered out to the lumber mill. And uh, <laughs> a small thing for any would-be modders. If you're going to make a trailer for Farming Simulator 2013, it really does have to have a locking script because we're all well aware that, uh, yeah, no locky, no stay. I lost uh, three logs on the way out there, even though I stayed on cruise control too, did all the turns as gently as I possibly could. Unfortunately, yeah, I ended up having to spend a fair bit of time afterwards waddling about collecting up spare logs. But that's okay, we made some pretty good money. And I bought us another field, which I'm going to deal with in a moment. First thing we really, really need to do start getting our critters making us some money and no that wasn't close there was a room for a whole sheet of paper between those two tractors okay let's grab our water trailer i have given the chickens water <laughs> which believe me is not saying much as you'll see when I hook this water thing up, how much is left in it. Oh, there we go, 99%. Yes, it used 40 liters of water for our chickens. Actually, I guess if you think about it, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? 40 liters, that's a fair chunk of water to feed. We got 15, 20 birds? Huh, all right, well, there you go. I guess that's okay. Uh... Now, I think before I do down there, I'm not sure where the actual uh, troughs are for these guys. Ah, uh, I see. I think they've got one of these water trailers. Cool. Uh, and open says me. No way. Not going to happen, me. I'm pressing the big old button. Uh, really, I got to do it this way. That's not exactly... Oh, perfect. And then it opens that way. <laughs> okay. Hey, buddy. Yeah, probably might want to go around that next time. Nothing else that won't creep me out near as bad. Alright, let's give our cows some... No. on the water trailer. Like, I mean, the, uh, the one that I'm towing, I have switched machines to show that. Is there a specific point? Let's have a look here. Uh, refill water. I guess you just need to be on this side of it. There you go. Oh, yeah. And sucker back she does. Ooh -wee. Uh, I kind of want to save some for the sheep there, boys. Although, oh. All right, never mind. Here you go, girls. Oh, <laughs> and a couple of pers. Yeah. Really? You're gonna cl you're gonna climb right over my tra the whole herd is gonna climb right over my tractor because I brought water. Yep. And oh, well, I'm getting out of here before any more of these silly moves show up. All right. And. Better get out here and close this gate because I really don't trust these guys. Girls, sorry, ladies. Okay, well. <laughs> now, uh, I think I'm going to give that last 40% to our sheep because uh, with no grass and no water, they have been happily producing a little tiny bit of wool. Yeah, 
Yeah, you may have noticed I dropped a set of silos there. We'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> yeah, there was a reason for it. Uh, we bought a field right across the road from the farm. And, uh, all right. Well, the rest of this, I guess we can dump into the other. Um, bought a field next to the farm there. And I want to seed corn in it so we can start up some, uh, I know it's done, some silage, etc. Problem being, the uh, seeder I bought will is uh, just a, I don't know, six inches or so too tall to back far enough into the shed where the trigger will actually operate. So, <laughs> all in all, that wasn't uh, wasn't exactly ideal. Okay, there she is. Uh, is it that one? Let's have a look, shall we? Yep. That isn't really going to give it very much, of course, but there you go. Well, you're either zero or you're one percent now. Hmm. Weirdo. Weirdo the water wagon. Okay. Uh, where do we want to park you? Sure. That'll work. What? Yes. Fine. Apparently water isn't good enough. Now they're demanding, like, food? Wow. <laughs> I tell ya. The chickens had lips. Okay. Let's see what we can do here about getting this guy put away home. Apparently not very much. I really thought it was gonna cut a little sharper than that. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Oh. You gonna pick off the other door frame this time? No, not quite. There we go. And now. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, woo. This trailer is quick. Or trailer, <laughs> yeah. Faster than a speeding trailer. There we go. Now, next project. With all of the animals, which I think we can even look at, or did I actually just completely uninstall that? Let's have a look here. Uh, yeah, okay. I thought I took the animal hut out. I don't... Oh, I know why. It was, uh... Actually coming up with some errors in the log. I went through and pulled a bunch of mods. I had to look at the log for the last, uh... The last session that I played. And, uh... Looked at some of the vehicles, etc. And what was, uh... Showing errors and severe, severe errors. Or just, you know, minor little things. And there were a few there that were, uh, uh, let's see, what would be a good word? Nasty? Sure, nasty works. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is the, uh, this particular horse cedar. Now, this is out of the, uh, I believe the titanium pack, probably. But it is one of the, uh, Giant's own DLC packs. But I like it, because it's one of the biggest corn cedars that I can find, and it's certainly the biggest one in the game. Um, but the problem with it is, you can see there, it's pretty much exactly the same height as most of the shed frames. I might be able to squeeze it in this one, but the shed that's got the uh, seed pallets, which are located dead center for some reason, um, unfortunately not only has the same height door, 
but it has a small concrete lip right at the edge of the door. So yeah, not uh, not a really good scenario to be honest with you. <laughs> Yeah. Our big new Holland and our new corn seeder. We'll take her over to the silo. So this is uh, you guys. If you've watched my watched my farming videos, you know that I have used this set fairly often, actually. Um, this is a hook lift pack that I've had whoa kicking around in my mod set so long. I'm not even 100% sure where it comes from. Now, apparently. She doesn't really like where I've got to try whoop, where I'm trying to put the trigger here, so I think what I probably need to do is be right beside so that I can get the main body of the cedar underneath the spout, because I believe this thing's trigger point is pretty much right under the spout. Ooh, tractor's a little taller than I thought. There we go, that might be better. Still no. Oh, yeah, it'd probably help if I switch to that as well. Watch this, the miracle. Da 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 da. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You'd think I'd actually played this game before, right? No? Not really. <laughs> okay. How are we doing here? Alright. Boy, if this was the MR mod, we'd be looking at, you know, there we should have about $800 left once this is full. Okay. Of course, it would last for uh, 37 lifetimes of the game, but... So the field that we bought is... Right over here. Well, I did a nice job with the fertilizing, didn't I? Oh, well. A couple of small spots. Here's a neat mod, eh? Uh, Volvo de Zur. Pretty nice, actually. The flatbed works well, the truck works really well. We'll have a look at those in a little bit. I've often thought about doing mod spotlight type series, but uh, I don't know. It somehow seems... Uh, to me, anyway, I do watch, uh, watch the occasional one when I run across it, but it just somehow seems a little weird to me. It's one thing to be uh, doing something like a game where you've got this amount of input to just simply take someone else's hard work and put it on display and call it your own video. It was just never... Uh, hmm. This actually looks like just the sort of field you can get away with a hired worker on this map. It's rather a robust looking cedar, I must admit certainly different than the uh, the other in-game corn cedar. Yeah. I'll bet we actually could. Of course, hiring us a worker for seeding is a rather pricey bit. But, uh, that's okay. I think, I think we're actually gonna do that. Uh, how are we for highway? We're good? Alright, well... See how this goes, buddy. Nice. Meanwhile, back in Paris. <laughs> okay. Do -do 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 -do. We'll hop across here. Yeah, see, I've got a little stash of bales there. We will be making use of those, I assure you. And uh, I'll be back to you, Porkies, with uh, some water. Oh, you did get some water. Everybody needs a little grain and such at this point. Uh, what's next on the agenda? Hey, you guys want to have a look at that truck? Sure you do. Let's head over there and have a look at the truck. Do, 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 do. That'll take our mind off of watching our money go down. I actually have two new trucks on the map. I will show you the other one as well. Because I actually like it even better than this one. It not be quite the fancy, fancy rig that this little piece of gear is, but... And this is actually quite a nicely done mod. Quite nice indeed. Everything seems to function well. Nice high quality. Hmm. You know, look at the detail on those bridge stones. 
and you know everything on it has got really good detail the trailer has got excellent detail and yes I am running right along against it you don't end up clipping through it or any of that silliness until you get up to here and that of course is because where the hitch is <laughs> that's exactly where the hitch is so yeah but yeah pretty high quality mod for sure looks really good the animations are nice when you open up the trailer etc let's uh, climb inside here as you can see and we'll start her up oh release the handbrake there we go okay and it is all-wheel drive as well which is kind of nice I mean this is uh, reasonably suitable good animations, good sound effects, and it is a stable enough trailer that it doesn't want to zip forward on you. So, yeah. It also has, if we zoom down here and look, uh, it's supposed to be able to lift that. Activate wide load is B. There we go. <laughs> and... Oh, it's V to lift it, not Y. That's if you're using the joystick. So there you go. You can lift the legs up, put them back down. Really, really nice. Uh, the animations are good. The audio uh, assets that they've tacked to the animations are really nice. Well, I, I'd probably grab the WD-40 and give that a little bit of a whistle. But other than that, yeah, the audio, they're, they're really nice. <laughs> The way it rocks the truck too, very cool. And the truck itself is nicely done. It's pretty much straight out of Euro truck, you know. Um, yeah, I don't. Okay, no, the the mirrors are just sort of a static kind of thing that's sitting there. But yeah, other than that, it is a really good truck. It runs well. It doesn't have any apparent behavior of any sort. So there you go. And. Uh, yeah, even has a neat bounce to the cab, eh? I do like it. Good loading script on the trailer. It works flawlessly. I have tried it. Um, LS 2013. It is the uh, Dezur Volvo and Transport mod. Definitely worth picking up, guys. If you want yourselves a pretty decent truck, then uh, you could do worse than this one. I'll have a little look here just to show you guys. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I believe it's under miscellaneous, which is not forestry vehicles, but actually miscellaneous. <laughs> yeah, who knows how far. There's the uh, transport semi version. It's 15 grand for the trailer. And the truck herself is a little more reasonably priced at 210000 so they don't give a lot of specs here, unfortunately. The other one that I picked up just happens to be out here with all this happy gear. Yeah, I finally got this back. We have, like I said, sold off all the logs. But here's our other truck and a different trailer. Now, this is a full-length log trailer. You can basically hack the tree down and drop it on there full. But this, I do like this. This is a nice rig, too. Good solid truck. Got some good tricks to it. Let's have a look, shall we? So, inside, really surprisingly nicely detailed, and I do mean nice. Um, this one actually does have mirrors. Now, whether they're reflecting... Yeah, it looks a little bit too green, to be honest with you. Uh, no, there's the tree. Huh. Could be that these are actually working mirrors. Anyways, uh, yeah. It doesn't have an IC. But it does have some other kind of neat things. It does have the normal lights, etc, etc. Let's actually go here. You can open the doors. Uh, what do we got? Seven. For that one. Of course, eight will do the other side. In a way, I sort of like this better than the IC control. 
Um, you can even pop the hood. And get out and have a look here. Huh. Pretty, uh, pretty nice, eh? I don't think we really want to drive around that way, however. And, uh... Oh, I know what the other one was, and this is pretty cool, but we want to go outside for this. You can change the wheel sets to something more suitable for being out here in the forest. Check those out. Nice big balloony tires. The tread pattern, unfortunately, I do believe is actually from a, uh, <laughs> a quad, but uh, that's okay. So yeah, we've got uh, highway or forest. So nice. The trailer is a pretty decent bit of gear as well. Um, you notice that? I do believe that's. Uh, I'm not sure why it does that, but it actually adds a weight. You can see it just pushing the truck down. So, yeah, front weight. Hmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not on there. And then I've got X, which gives us what? Well, I'm pretty sure it's doing something. I'm pretty sure I couldn't tell you guys off hand what that would be, though. But yeah, definitely a nice truck. The trailer is reasonable enough. It does work, and it does walk, so... I believe it does. It may have actually been the short trailer I tried, so don't quote me on this one yet. But we will get around to giving it a fairer test. But the truck I really like. Oops, that's just because of the trees and the angle that I'm at. But yeah, this trailer I've used. And there is a... There is a Scania truck that has a short box trailer on it that's meant to pull this one. Uh, the problem is, it is so freaking slow. It only does like 12, 15 mile an hour. And then this is a New Holland mod, uh, Brazilian mod it's called, in celebration of course of the uh, FIFA. There we go. Simple enough, your basic same as every one, but it does work well and it came back with no errors. So, and it's nice and quick. There you go. Um, front gear folds up on it. Yeah, what is that? Seven, I believe. There you go. Sucks one out of the way, folds the other one up. So, kind of handy. Not bad, eh? And we have a couple of wheels as well. We got these funky low pressure guys. <laughs> We've got the crop wheels, and then we've got dualies all the way around. Pretty nice, huh? Or rear twinning, as they call it. So there you go. And she rumbles along pretty good. Nice and stable, a little bit of roll on the cab, just like you would actually expect if you were bobbling along on these kind of wheels. So yeah, all in all, pretty decent little tractor. And if we go inside, it doesn't have great looks, but it does have an IC, um, which I have changed. Right, I changed that to try and get some other things working that I wasn't terribly, terribly, terribly successful with. But yeah, the usual stuff on the IC. All right, doors, uh, sunroof, and rear window, I believe, as well. There we go. So, there you be. Nice, nice tractor. Nice tractor. That's, uh... How's our seer doing? Mm-hmm. Let's <laughs> hop around till we come close. Ah. Oh, no. That's this little guy, our stump muncher. I've been using him for munching stumps because he doesn't really have uh, a whole bunch of horsepower to be doing other things, to be honest with you. So, yeah. It's going to be the last vehicle we try and find, isn't it? Oh, it might have been that last one, actually.
Ooh, sorry about that, guys. I hope we're still recording. <laughs> that was uh, not great. Not great. I accidentally uh, alt-tabbed us instead of... Uh, yeah. Control-tabbing to go back the other way to get to that other vehicle that I wanted to have a look at. I actually uh, alt-tabbed us out of this game. So, uh, you can either hear me now, or I'm babbling to myself, and the video is over a couple of minutes ago. Although it is probably about time to pack it in. Just wanted to let you guys know what we were doing, where we're at, and by guppies, this is a big field, isn't it? And you, sir, that's what I was afraid of. You're obviously well over your head, and... I can't be bothered to do anything but sit there and waste the rubber on my tires. There you do. I said it never occurred to you to back up. Well, there was a difficult problem to solve, wasn't it? Hmm? Hmm? I tell you. Sometimes. Sometimes. Even making the trees so you can drive right through them just isn't enough for some tractor operators. Like me. <laughs> oh well, he did that much of it done without making too much of a bollocks of it, didn't he? So, till next time guys, I think that's gonna do it. Okay, you have an issue, do you? Alright, what is your issue? Oh, I know what your issue is. <laughs> the light part on this map? Yeah, that'd be the part you've already done. And we kind of want you to get to do the rest. I'm really glad that the AI tractor is smarter than I am. That's so sad. So sad. But till next time, guys, this has been Species 7. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you did, or even if you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe if you would. I wouldn't mind growing the channel. So uh, that's going to do it for this one. Till the next time we meet, take care of each other, folks. Nobody else will. And ciao for now. <laughs>